breaking news out of Brooklyn, where a 15-year-old was shot in broad daylight on the street. And good afternoon, I'm David Navarro. And I'm Liz Cho. This is all unfolding on 62nd Street in Bensonhurst. The teen was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Negervan just spoke to witnesses on the scene. Joins us live from Brooklyn with more. Tom. <laughs> David and Liz, that 15-year-old shot in the back just after 1 o'clock this afternoon. Residents here really stunned and really fearful right now. They say this is a very diverse neighborhood filled with young families, small businesses. It's been a very long time since anything like that has happened. Anywhere near here, they say it happened this afternoon just after 1 o'clock. Newscopter 7 over the scene just minutes after that as police and first responders gathered here. Police still here. A very large police presence at the scene. Witnesses say the 15-year-old boy shot once, rushed to the nearest hospital. His condition very grave at that time, according to first responders. Uh, they say there was a group of young people gathered here in the street, a group of teens around 1 o'clock this afternoon. FDR High School is just a couple of blocks away, uh, when suddenly about five shots rang out, they say, which would line up with the number of evidence markers we see here at the scene. They say then the teens scattered in all directions including the victim, who they say wounded, ran about half a block before collapsing in the street. I hear five. Yes. Five shots. So you didn't immediately identify it as gunshots? I wasn't sure, I'll be honest with you. But it sounded to me, because I was in the army, it was like a 100% gunshot. But I'm not sure, I wasn't, I wasn't sure in this neighborhood, you know? Not something you expect here? No, this is the first time. It's crazy. No one believes that it happened in this neighborhood. No one who lives here anyway. They say the teens, most of them, scattered toward the 20th Street subway station very close by. They believe the gunman may have run in that direction as well. He's still at large right now. Police still cruising around looking for him. Not much of a suspect at this point. A male wearing a gray sweatshirt and sweatpants.